Guys, let's start Ramadan with a bang! I see a big board and I think, wow, that man looks awfully like Mufti Mank. Oh, you who believe fasting has been prescribed upon you in the way it was prescribed upon those before you in order that you achieve taqwa the correct connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so and then I said wait a second it kind of sounds like Mufti Mank when you connect with the Quran everything else becomes easy and then I googled and it turns out Mufti Mank was leading the tarawih at the masjid so yeah, that was so random. <laughs> On this particular day, I was on my way to go get iftar. Not sure I was too shy to speak in the cab, but yeah, let's go. Welcome back to my channel. I'm vlogging and I've barely broken my iftar. It is so. I was sitting inside and I was like, no what? Can I that? Tell me what do you believe? I don't know what it is, but I have felt a bit more shy really lately. So I'm trying to break out of it. Anyway, regardless. Um, I'm out of iftar right now. I'm about to switch to grocery on one. So lately guys, I don't know if you guys know. I think buffet is, I'm not a buffet babe because... I'm in the process of unbigging my bag, okay, if you guys have been here. But, well, to be honest, I haven't shared much about it, okay, but I'm trying to unbig my bag. When it, guys, the past like 10 days of Ramadan, mm -mm, the bag has been getting big. The process of unbigging my bag is way, way out the window. It's a bit dark out here, so I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I will check in in a little bit. Guys, before I take the and I take a bit, we must come to the shop and say, Okay, I'm going to eat. Yeah, but good eyes. You got some luck with the movie. First, I will come with you. Come with you. Okay, my friend. Makulay al Ba. Makulay al Ba. Subhanallah. I'm going to go on Abia and one of the Shaykh Sarah is, in fact, Makulay. The best thing about Wadankan, okay, I would say is the fact that Melk said to tip everywhere you go, we had Halisa Melk to talk like this. I don't know why I'm still speaking Somali, but um, we're here for it. Um, everywhere you go, prayer room. Alhamdulillah, you know, day, I'm a Kohan Marana, day nine. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I hope the fast all going so well. Ramadan is a running through, we already won that in. I'm gonna have some dessert and then I'm gonna. Trying this drink I've never had before. I decided to just pour a little amount. Essentially, a rose drink. I'm also having like some lokmaka. Some lokmaka. This other dessert. It kind of looks a bit like pork. to that so I think it might be plumping but it doesn't really have that much of a plumping um I got some me shout out to the genetics okay but yeah little black abai moment oh T -T. okay little black and black moment I have become a black abai babe this is the only way to go I'll be so honest with you and to be honest I love colored abayas but black abayas 
so guys this is what the vibes are but at this cute little area we're like walking around went to a cafe here and it was so cute vibes <laughs> It was so lovely and it was so cute and this area is like for, I don't know what it is but it's like super peaceful, it's like super peaceful vibes. The cafe culture here is a bit of me, but then I do realise there's a lot of like cute cafes in London. You know what I mean too, but I feel like just like the outdoorsiness, like the fresh air, looking at the burgy burgy sparkle, oh my god it's sparkling, like my abaya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give them something. What? Work it. Yes. What? Oh my God, it's for Allah. Guys, I nearly stole these glasses because I forgot they were on my head. And the way, literally, nobody would have stopped me. That's so crazy. Stuff for Allah. <laughs> yeah, Habibi, I should be your <laughs> So we've stumbled in this, to this cute Abaya shop because when don't you? Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's literally everywhere, but this one brand is called Hessa Falassi and the aesthetics are just giving everything. Yeah, she's giving us squad girls. And the girlies in matching Abayas, personally, purple is such a vibe. So guys, we are going for a little stroll, getting a matcha. I got my matcha without sugar, because I'm trying to, guys, you know I'm trying to unbig the back, but the back does not want to be, um, be unbig. I got it without sweetener and it tasted, ooh. so I went back to the guys, I'm so sorry. I really changed my mind, and do you know what? I literally drank like, quite like a third of this, and he said, you know what, I'll make, I said, you don't have to do all that. He said, I'll make you a new one. How's how freaking lovely is that? I want you guys to know that the Unbig Back Chronicles is starts tomorrow, guys. See me working out day and night and putting in that work. I feel like I was really making progress, so you can't make progress. You can't make progress with the weight. Like, guys, look, I'm so like, I'm joking. I actually lost a few kgs, but like, there's no point in me doing all of that before. <laughs> and then now, like, things are. You know what I mean? On the rise. I want you guys to know that from Berry, get into it. Like we're, we're eating our salad, we're eating our like healthy juices and making like a home cooked food, less sankar. And yeah, we're really being on job. The job is being on. Right now we're going for a stroll. This is, I'm gonna literally start a chapter in my book and then it's gonna be called Kali Dina Analysis Sa'a. Oh, absolutely. Okay, thank you. You know, one thing I realized, one thing I realized is I can really talk for England. Like right now, I'm talking, 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 talking. It's called, I really thought I was a mysterious girl, quiet girl. Anyway, this match is really, really good. How do I tell somebody now it's a bit too sweet? currently running late for dinner i have not done my lipstick i'm gonna do it in the car because something about finishing your makeup like one little touch yeah it's literally gonna speed us up that is the difference between being on time and being late um this is the outfit of the day cute little sparkly hijab cute little sparkly abaya i'll do a proper otd later today i just realized i forgot to put my lipstick i'm gonna do it after i eat i'm gonna do it on the hunt to find the prayer room but this place is so fancy 
fancy, fancy, fancy for, in the process of looking for the prayer room, we stumbled across a library and an art gallery. My favourite lip my favourite lip liner lipstick is on the verge of disappearing. It's literally been um she's been discontinued. You know what it is what it is. I have I'm gonna find a new favourite. Well, be it up, be it up. My current favourite is the NARS. Start me up. Start me up. It's so pretty. Along with the hourglass. This hedge hat is like so cute and sparkly but i just can't find a way to style it because i have no pins so i'm just draping it over my shoulders a moment So we were in the Burj Khalifa today. We went to the Burj. I'll be so honest, my experience. I was like, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was very underwhelmed. So underwhelmed. Um, would I go back? Only probably they have like this really nice suhoor um, on the ground floor, um, like um, like Ramadan suhoor there. I feel like that would be cute. The place that we went to, I don't know what it was like. I don't want to be rude, but the vibe, it wasn't like the whole thing. It was like maybe like a the particular restaurant, cafe place. It just felt a bit, it felt a bit sticky. Do you know what I mean? Like We're going to do a little get to know me tag. I'll tell you why. I don't know if like I'm mysterious or like I'm private. I want to say like I don't intend to be that way. I'm just naturally very, very reserved. And I feel like that's okay. Like. It takes me like months, years. I don't know if anybody else is like that. It takes me like so long to like, it takes me so long to feel comfortable around people. And it, although like I'm comfortable around the camera like that, me just like blurting stuff out, it doesn't really come naturally to me. Like even with close friends, it just doesn't come naturally to me. And it never has, okay? And I'm really, really sorry about that. Like if you like, I have conversations with people all the time in person, in, on my D, in my DMs, like if you if you have like, if, you, if there's anything that like you're curious about, like I'm willing to answer, but I don't know what that would be. Those who don't believe, Allah says, nay, you love that which is right in front of you and you forget that which is to come, which is eternal. You love this worldly life such that in it you want what you want. And you are forgetting that the eternal life that is to come is the reality. It is what you need to work for. What is your wealth going to do for you? Do you know that wealth when it... It's iftar time and I'm starving. I'm so hungry today. I just did a little, I don't know why I did that. I pointed the camera up to the palm trees and I did a little spin. And I just remembered those men that are the um, <laughs> real life, um, real life human drone. These are the real angles that nobody else is getting. Right now we're at the pointe. And um, I've become so nocturnal, guys. Okay, this where's this vlog's been? I'll tell you where the vlog's been. I've been such a noc. I've been a bat, little so black bat. I don't even know what time it is. Currently, it's like 1 a.m. Where is everybody? Nobody's nobody's outside. Welcome to the Safar Diaries. Okay. Currently, we're at this place called Al Safadi. Thank you. Lebanese, Lebanese breakfast. <laughs> 
Wow, it's so pretty here. 